Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Now, as a haunter, there are some projects that you might consider a rite of passage. And in this video, I'll be tackling a classic, making creepy candles using PVC pipe and hot glue. But I'll be adding my own little twist. So let's get to it. I knew that I wanted these candles to sit on a stack of old books. So I grabbed two from a local thrift shop that fit the aesthetic. And then it was time to solidify my base. These books had seen better days, so I didn't hesitate to grab some screws and join them together. This is a pretty simple and reversible way to keep the stack looking just how I want it. To keep everything in place, use a bit of PVA glue like Mod Podge on the paper edges of the book to join them permanently. With our base taken care of, it was time to grab some pipe and lay out our candles. I'm using some 3 inch ABS pipe and two pieces of 1.5 inch PVC. The taller PVC pipe has a 20 degree cut on one end, and the other two pieces of pipe are at 90 degrees, but they won't stay that way for long. As candles melt, they take on organic shapes, so I grab my rotary tool with a sanding drum and I'm going to give these pipes some character. This process can really help to establish the overall look of your candles and help to break up the uniform shape of the pipe. Fun fact, our brains are really good at finding patterns, so by using different heights and diameters and changing the overall shape of the pipe, it helps to confuse our pattern-seeking minds and prevent it from recognizing the similarities in our materials. Now that we've changed the basic shapes, let's push this idea a bit further with the help of a heat gun. You will absolutely want to work in a well-ventilated area and wear a respirator during this step as the fumes emitted from the pipe are toxic. I highly recommend wearing heat-resistant gloves during this process so that you can use your hands to manipulate the shape of the pipe and to hold those shapes in place as it cools. I'll repeat this step for the other piece of PVC pipe, but we'll leave the ABS pipe as it is because it requires a lot more heat to make it pliable. Off camera, I painted all the pipes with a gloss white spray paint and let them dry. And now it's time to set them in place. And here's where I deviate from the conventional approach. I like to start my drips at the bottom and work up. I found that this gives the drips a more natural look because the start of a bead of hot glue has a more rounded appearance, like wax does, without the small nibs and stringing that can be left behind as you pull the glue gun away. This also helps with making pools of wax along the base, since you can place it exactly where you want and continue the stream up the face of the candle. I like to use white high temp hot glue for this so that I don't have to paint them after gluing them in place like you would if you used clear hot glue. And when you think you've gotten the glue drips looking how you want, it's time to pull out the heat gun again. This will help to hide any of the nibs and stringing glue as well as blend some of your drips together, as they would if it were a real candle. This step really helps to unify the appearance and tidy up any areas that may look a little unruly. What makes this effect really work is the layering of the wax and varying the thickness of the drips. Not every drip needs to have a lot of character. Some just needs to fill in the gaps until you've got the look you're going for. 
Now at this point, you could age them with a wash of acrylic paint or wipe on and wipe off some gel stain to give them that yellowed antique look. But I think I'm going to leave these just as they are. The last thing to do is add in some LED tea lights and this project is done. Now this is one of those projects that there's really no wrong way to go about doing it. But maybe with these tips and suggestions, you might be able to get a highly realistic creepy candle for your haunt or cemetery. That's going to do it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. But most importantly, go make something. <laughs>